Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 of Tate OP Destiny. So let's go ahead and get started. In 3, 2, 1, go. Oh shit, yeah, we're going. Mm. Damn, child. Oh, you know, why didn't we just start with that? I mean, it would have been so much better and you would have eliminated them all in one go. Oh! Oh, she needs sugar. Oh no, the guy who looks like Gladio. Isn't that, yeah, that's one of those things. Hmm. No. It's probably just a memory now. Yeah. Because I don't think the same person anymore. the biggest thing because it makes you wonder like by the end of this series will Cosette be able to be normal again or will she be a music art for the rest of her life yeah 
Yeah. If only that didn't happen. God, even the way she speaks just sounds so empty. Like, <sighs> Destiny. Okay, so we're just. Uh, I'm gonna call you Destiny Cosetto. I mean, should we even really be celebrating out something right now? Oh, she has a music card now. I'm the guy who looks like Gladio. Oh, she just cute. <laughs> now, I don't think Titan's going to be in the game. From what I saw a couple of days ago. But she cute. Mm. Poor Destiny. She <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want this. <laughs> of course. While well, you guys are going to New York. And is there a way to get her back to normal?
Well, remember, this isn't Cosette anymore. This is destiny. So we may never see her again. Or even... Oh, that hurts! <laughs> Well, technically, in a way, she did die. Unlike Titan. You like sweets. <laughs> okay, do y'all really have like enough gas? Like, I mean, I would rather not do a whole bunch of stops on this journey, but shit. Hope so. Mm -hmm. My thing is, why couldn't y'all take a plane? Was there something wrong with taking a plane? Because y'all could have got there in a day, unless, you know, whatever reason. detail I 
I mean, but hold up. Was it really necessary for her to go by herself and fight them? Well, it seems like, you know, Destiny is a different type from Titan. I'm just saying. Like, almost in a way, Destiny will be a queen, and Titan will kind of be like a commander or some ish. I mean, god damn. work together. You can't do everything on your own. Yeah, doing that shit on your own. You know, I thought I was hard-headed, but this girl <laughs> takes it to a whole other level. actually happening in with that oh bitch why are you trying to kill him She's doing it anyway. She don't care. <laughs> well, of course. I mean, come on. We all knew you was the up for the other team. <laughs> the fact that this child gets like right. <laughs> Like, bam. <laughs> oh, Well, goddamn, Destiny.
I know. Look at the house. That's worse than the SpongeBob meme. I know, but still. Okay, well, what else happened 10 years ago in Boston? You just gonna skip over that? Bruh. Being emo. Uh, oh, Destiny. I mean, okay. Destiny, her personality, interesting, but you know, your your girl just misses Cosetto. I mean, because come on now, it's Cosette. She was Punch's baby girl. And even though we've like technically known Destiny for three episodes now and for Cosette herself, just really merely one. It's a little sad because of the fact it's like, in a way, yes, Cosette technically died. And because of that, Destiny was born. And now it's like, can we get Cosette back? I'm scared. Like, oh my god. But okay. Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, 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 Lenny. Oh my god. We, you know, because at the same time, way before that line came in, I was like, yeah, he is so for the other team. But you know what? That's okay. I was like, he... He, he's that himbo vibes. He is that gladi daddy vibes. So, you know, yes, I get my little bit of gladio up in there. And I'm I'm not mad at it. I fucking love it. Because, like, uh, gladio is so... <laughs> gladio is so one of the finest freaking Final Fantasy men. Besides Noctis and, you know, a couple others. And ish. But what he was talking about... Boston and what happened 10 years ago he abruptly just like didn't say anything so what I'm kind of hoping is with however long this series is whether it's like 12 episodes or 24 episodes that we do eventually Ooh, excuse me I'm sorry I ate and I'm, I'm sleepy I got the itis <laughs> we do eventually get to see like a flashback episode to the day of Boston 10 years ago whatever else also happened that day because I feel like there's going to be another character leaving several episodes from now who also is possibly going to talk about what happened 10 years ago in Boston now the situation also going back into Cosette going into Destiny and her becoming a music artist and everything, something kind of tells me maybe, like, secretly, quote-unquote, and this is just a little guess, what if Cosette secretly trained for this or, like, she was experimented on by her family? We barely really know anything about her and her family, only the fact is the last thing that she told us in episode two was before she moved there to America, she lived in France with her family and she played piano and such. So... 
something else secretly maybe happened that possibly she has no memories of and that eventually we will find out later on because with destiny and her being born and how she knows how to do this is that and the third um maybe she was secretly destiny for like the longest time not up abruptly since like episode one two possibly but it's still a lot of unanswered questions i mean it, it's crazy that uh, for destiny as a music artist she is like devouring the shit out of takto so it makes you wonder like by the end of this series is takto also going to die as well because like i said cosette is technically dead even though it it's still, her body is still alive but destiny is the one who is currently occupying it so let's say by the end of this cosette comes back to life comes back, comes back to life of course she's not gonna have any memory of what happened all she's probably maybe going to remember is the last little bits of her life before she died. And so I guess if like Anna or even Tato himself asks, that's possibly what she's going to say. Like, okay, what do you see? What were the last things that she saw? You should probably would say something like black, gray, red, and then darkness and such. But who really knows? I mean, this is only episode three out of, like I said, either a 12 or 24 episode series. So we can't really, you know... I got some good guesses, that's all. <laughs> we we don't really know how this is truly going to go, what MAPPA and Studio Madhouse are really, you know, planning for this. Um, I do hope that we get to see Titan and Lenny again, even though it seems like, because I was assuming that they were going to continuously travel with them, but because when you look back at episode one, it was only Anna, Takto, and Destiny from the get-go, and now that we've finally seen Lenny and Titan, I think we're going to have an episode where Lenny and Titan kind of do their own thing and then eventually meet back up with the rest of the group and then kind of, like, strategize or something or say, like, oh, hey, like, here's some info that I found out on this, is that, and the third, and whatever else. But we ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of Takto OP Destiny. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the action squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Tuesday for episode four. Bye, guys. Thank you.